Okay. Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. So how 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 is Fish just like safe from this and other people? Did he not upgrade the biochip or something? Like I'm 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 guessing it's that. So this is why you don't you know do something suspicious. Oh, look at all this beer and painkillers. All right. Welcome to the last part of this game. Panchea in hell. All right. So one thing I, w I would like to say, oh shit, is that everyone is basically crazy. Like all the soldiers are crazy. So basically you're playing like a zombie game. So what I recommend, especially when you're playing a um, pacifist, um, don't get caught, please. Like if you get caught, you basically have to kill like thousands of them. <laughs> Because all of them will try to catch you and kill you, basically. Alright. Let's see. I think I think that's basically it. Um, is there anything special? What happened if I go down there? Probably I'm gonna die. Oh, this thing's open. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. It's a shame I can't pick up that thingy. Okay. There is a one limb clinic, like the last limb clinic on this place, so... But it's like kind of hidden, so you have to kind of look for it. Alright. I, I think this, that's, that's basically it for this place, really. Alright, where do I go? Oh, it's over here. It says over here. So that's my rocket? No, actually that's a part of the helicopter. Okay. More money, yay. Alright. Let's start our journey. To Panchea. Alright. Hmm. Oh. That's cute. Oh shit! That's not cute. Super game, don't do that to me. Please. Okay, where do I- how do I go in there? I see a weapon there, although I don't really need that. Uh, there's a door actually. There might be a way in there. Like over here. Or not. Screw that room. We don't we don't need to go there. I mean maybe you have we have to, I don't know. I hear that. Let's try going over here. Oh mine template, that's great. Oh man, this place is brutal. Oh my god. Why am I in this place? I don't want to be here. Wow, everyone's dead. Why do you have a heavy rifle? That's why you're dead. Grenade launcher here. Okay. Oh, I'll take your money though. Alright, let's see. I think there's one more. One more EMP mine here. Alright. Oh, it's a frag mine. That's great. Oh boy. Alright, there we go. Let's see what we have here.
Hmm. Oh, there's another fragment over here. I'm I'm guessing this is like a route you take if you don't have that um EMP shielding, but at the same time you you could actually pass that place without the EMP shielding. Actually this place leads to this one. Okay. Can I jump down? There we go. So this is how you get in. Oh money. Oh nice. And uh is that a password? No, it's not. Don't waste my time here. Oh, where am I? Oh, where am I? <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, really, where am I? <laughs> okay, apparently I'm in a different place now. Don't tell me I'm- don't tell me I'm in like a loop or something. Okay. Alright. Oh boy. Everything is kind of bad here. So this is what happens if you make a guy to build this huge place. And you know. Just build a huge place. And just shit happens. Okay. Can I use this elevator? Okay. Pritchard, Did I just skip the other part? Broadcast centers at the base of the station near I think so. The ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override them manually. From up in the tower. I got it. I think I just skipped like the other parts here. Okay. I'm not complaining. I think I'm gonna be able to finish this game maybe this week or the next week. Probably next week. Okay. Alright. Oh my god. I have so many shit here. Alright, let me let me just eat a bunch of crap here. Um I'll just eat this. And why not? Let's get you know, get steam packs. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm so packed. Oh my god, how many things do you guys have? I can't even handle all of them. Oh man, there's blood everywhere. Fucking huge arrow. Hopefully, but... Uh, hopefully that, that doesn't count as a kill if I like drop something on there dead body okay let's see here um come on there has to be something useful oh there we go there's one guy wandering around this place not be in this room it is in this room all right let's take him down Oh wow, it's going through his head. That's great. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. 8024. Advise. Advise. Have a nice day. Wow. Shit. Wait, what did the last one said? I see it, mommy. Wow. Oh, wow, that's kind of creepy. Shit. Everyone's dead here. Fucking. Why is it happening to me? Alright. Let's try to go through this place really quick. Alright. Let's see. Where do I go? This way? No. This way? I, I, I think it's this way. Oh man. Look at that graphics, man. It's so realistic. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna loot, loot around here. 
because they're like kind of kind of kind of gives you like a good rewards really hmm I mean there's nothing else to do here I mean everyone's dead okay there's nothing here all right hmm let's hack this thing man don't do this to me don't do this to me fuck Oh, I didn't mean to stop that thing in wow wow reverse. Alright. What do we have here? Uh gas grenades, I would like that. Man, okay, I'll just drop this thing. Okay. Now what? Um that's it? Oh that's lame. Oh, this is a. Oh, actually, there's a security camera. Oh, not the ski. Security computer. There we go. My my brain just stopped there. It sometimes happens. Oh, oh whatever. Oh wow. Oh, there's a turret actually. I thought there's like nothing to really control. Man, this place is doomed. <laughs> oh. Looks like we have some friend here waiting for us. That's not the actual way. This is the actual way. Alright, Hugh Darrow. Let's go. Let me turn off this thing first, or maybe not. Actually, I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow. We're just unwilling to face what you've done. Oh, I know what I've done. Believe me, I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince Because of the world. you. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. Human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. Oh, that's cute. Okay. The last now, speech bite we have here. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Panchea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. So I have to prove him wrong. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. Blood must be shed. You can't walk on without the thing. 
Okay. Okay, that's not really what I, I wanted. Horrific. You can't force people to change. That that's not gonna work. <laughs> Critique. If you're doing this it has to stop. You can't force people to change. They have to do it on their own, or they'll end up resenting you for it. And doing it like this, my God, Darrow, it's insane. It is not insane, Mr. Jensen. Tragic, yes. Unavoidable. Fuck. No. Fuck. Oh, actually, it worked. Actually, okay. I thought it didn't work. In your former career, were you not sometimes called upon to kill in the line of duty, to carry that grim responsibility in order to save others? You must realize this is no different. Only the scale has changed, because the threat we face as a species is so extreme. Okay. Sending it. Standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. None of this matters because this is what will happen now. After today, whatever you say will be dismissed. I'll be right. We want to see what you you want us to see, see what you see. Well, can we? When we are giving grieving over the people you first. Oh no. Nothing more to say, Shut up, Mr. Jensen. I'm thinking. Okay, everyone. on. It's nothing but the stack of innocent victims. You've convinced okay. yourself you're right, but whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. All your talk about ethics and ideals doesn't mean a damn compared to that. Genocide? I'm trying to save our species, and you. you keep twisting my words. Aha! Why did I expect this to turn out differently? People like you, people who willingly surrender their humanity a piece at a time, you'll never understand. And browbeating won't get me to change my mind. You can talk and talk and talk, but in the end, you'll still fail to grasp the fundamental underlying truth. Oh, that's cute. All right, let's see what this guy is. Omega. Omega. Okay, Omega. About that leg brace of yours, where the father of augmentation doesn't have the most basic of implants. Doesn't make much sense, really. Unless he's one of the few people genetically incompatible with this technology. Ah, shit. Gotta love the irony in that. It's the kind of irony that can tear you up inside, bit by bit, every day, until you find yourself despising what you're not. How dare you? You think I've done all this because... Because a fluke of nature robbed me of my chance to become a part of it? I tried everything, damn you! Everything I could think of to change! None of it worked! None of it! So you had to fix you it, mad? didn't you? Take back control, make it like it never was. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I... What I... I... What have I done? Give me the codes, Daryl. Help me stop this. You'll still be in danger. Panchea's security system, much of it is self-determining and lethal. But if you succeed, if these codes help you turn off the system and reach the broadcast center, tell the world exactly why I did it. Explain to them about the Illuminati, the biochip, Panchea. Help them understand that the technology I created will not be a future any one of us desires. All right, the final countdown. Oh no, let's turn off this shit. Oh, stupid fire! What do I do? Oh, it's already turned up. That's great. <laughs> 